PDG2, this is Lord Vodger 16 here again with another review. I wanted to do an unboxing video for this, but I just didn't like how it turned out. But today we are going to be show. So this is more of a showcase. Today I'm going to be showcasing my Saber Trio Cross Guard. I just got this in on the sixth. What was it? The sixteenth of of March. And it is absolutely beautiful. I asked them to specifically weather the Quillians with a brass cover tech and a black and red illuminated button. I'm actually going to turn on a different light so you guys can actually see it in a better look. There we go. And I want to just give you guys my overall impression with Saber Trio as well as the, uh, the uh, lightsaber itself. So... Let's start off. I wanted to order one of, uh, let me get in frame. I wanted to order one of these last year, but um, the IRS kind of screwed me over and didn't give me my returns because of some, it, it was weird shit. But anyway, but I got them this year and I told myself, I want, I still want my cross guard. So I shot Saber Trio message saying, hey, I'd like to purchase a cross guard, uh, a weather cross, uh, sorry, I'd like to purchase a cross guard from you guys. Can I get the, uh, the Aquilians weathered, like in this picture? And I sent them a reference photo of somebody else that did it. And they said, yeah, absolutely, that's not a problem. It's going to be an additional $25 surcharge. That's perfectly fine. So I placed my order. I let them know, saying, hey, my order is placed. Here's the order number. Just let me know how you want me to pay that $25 and send me the link, and I'll pay it. 30 minutes after I purchased it, and I sent that message to them, they, uh, they shot me a reply saying, hey, we just noticed that you ordered the weathered cross guard and not the blackout one. So that being the case, since you ordered the weathered one, we're just going to go ahead and do the weathering on the quillings for you free of charge because it's just a little bit of extra weathering that we can do. You don't have to worry about it. Fucking fantastic. That's great. Now, mind you, I ordered this on February 23rd. Very important. Place my order. I'm thinking, okay, cool. About May, early June. I'm going to have my cross guard. This is going to be fucking awesome. I commented on one of their posts because they were on one of their posts on Facebook. They were showcasing the cross guard. I said, you know, I, uh, I'm so excited to finally be able to place an order with you guys. I cannot wait to get mine. They, uh, and they dropped a comment saying, well, uh, dropped a comment saying, well, maybe you'll be getting it sooner rather uh, sooner than you think. I didn't know what that meant. I thought like, okay, am I not going to have to wait three months? Am I just going to have to wait two? Uh-uh. No, these guys sent me a shipping notification March 10th. Less than a month after I ordered it, I have a custom cross guard in my hand. The customer service is unfucking believable. Anybody that has ordered or dealt with Saber Trio and has uh, had to deal with their customer service in one way or another has always said that Saber Trio's customer service is just. There's no one else like it, and I get it now. They went above and beyond for me, and they didn't have to. They didn't have to put it in an express uh, express order for me, but they did, and I will be forever thankful for them. So, enough about that. Um, I spent the last I spent the last week or so fiddling around with the uh, CFX board and the Crystal uh, the Crystal Focus um, desktop app through the CrystalFocus.net website. Definitely check it out. It's a little tricky to use. But once you finally figure out how to use it, it's great. So let's go ahead and uh, wake, wake it up from deep sleep. Come on. I've there we go. For this day for a long time. And why not? Why don't we start off with Kylo Ren? It, it looks beautiful. It sounds... This sounds fantastic. This is my second NeoPixel lightsaber. My other one is a LG T VHS throw together from Outer Rim Sabers and Vire Sabers, and it's using a Xenopixel V2. This thing blow don't get me wrong, I love Vire Sabers, but this thing blows it out of the water. Crystal Focus is one of the is a badass board. I've been wanting a crystal I've been wanting a Crystal Focus lightsaber since about 2004 when I entered the hobby. Back then, Crystal Focus 2.0 came out. Now we're up to 10, and this kind of thing is absolutely ridiculous. It, 
the entire hilt itself feels absolutely solid. I dropped it once. I'll admit that. Still standing up. It... Just, just listen to that. The one thing I need to get used to is that there is a small little choke point right down here. I'm used to grabbing like way up here, but it's a lot better to grip it like down here and have the webbing your fingers right there. And I'm knocking stuff off. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and load up another font. To do that, there's an auxiliary button on the back of it. Oh, I guess it should show that off. how you angle the blade, is that how where the lockup is going to be. This thing is just... Alright, force effect. I was trying to do a tip drag, but anyway. Oh, another cool thing this has. Alright, let's accidentally turn it off. Well, this does have gesture control. But, let's go ahead and switch to another font. Sound bank selection. Kylo Ren. I'm actually going to be going backwards to the Saber Trio font. Kylo Ren. Because I have one of my favorite blade colors on here. It's... Oh! This also has... Uh, so, I actually didn't mean to do that, but I'll showcase it. Another great thing about Crystal Focus boards is that by pressing the auxiliary button while the Saber is off, you get a power level indicator. This is fantastic, so I never have to constantly wonder, oh, you know, is my where are my lightsabers charged at? Just, oh! Okay, it's about halfway. Cyan. I love this color, and it looks fantastic on a Saber Trio blade. With this one, I decided to go with a more... Oh, didn't say. I'm still learning how to use, uh, how to make, like, custom color and blade profiles, so that's something I still got to tweak with. Because that's not showing up at all for us. I originally wanted it to be like a reddish orange when for the blast of the parts and stuff. Let's go with one more font, huh? Sound bank selection. And I know exactly which one I want to go with. Exit menu. System mystic. You claim a Jedi was here. This is K Sith's ghost. You lie to me and expect Imperial favor. So this is definitely based off of the Inquisitor at the end of the uh, last episode of Tales of the Jedi series. There's the gesture control. There we go. For this one, I uh, chose to go with an unstable effect on it. It's a little... There we go. Now you can see it. Yeah, that looks great. So this sound... Uh, this font is just... It sounds so just, just nasty. I don't have a lot of room to, uh, to uh, flourish or spin, so I'm just trying to do like little basic stuff, just so you guys can understand how good this thing sounds. Like this thing is honestly louder than my uh, Vire Saber, my custom uh, mashup Saber. I should just kind of start calling my Xenopixel Saber. I love that white, uh, that white flare as the blade lights up. But yeah, anyway. Sound bank selection. We'll do one more. Second, Second sister. Second sister. Yeah, I am so excited for the new. Uh, I'm so excited for the new. Uh, what is it? Jedi Survivor. That's it coming out. Just, just listen to that. This one's also my case. It's called Second. I gotta stop spinning this. <laughs> but anyway, so my coffee table's right here. And that's like the third time I've hit something. So anyway, enough mucking around with this. Give you guys a close up of what that looks like all lit up. Camera, uh, videos and pictures don't do these things justice. They really don't. But you've got to, you've got to see one of these in person. Um, 
as far as price goes, this cost me enough. Let's just say that. <laughs> uh, more people are more open about how much they spent on lightsabers and stuff like that. More, normally I am as well, but this one was a little bit up there. So we'll just say it cost me enough. Anyway, this is Lord Von 216 signing out. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. I'm going to be having a few more videos. Uh, uh, I am going to be having more videos up soon because I've got another thing coming in in the next few days to where I'm excited to unbox and no one's done a review of. I have looked. So that should be fun. So yeah, hope you all guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a, a custom lightsaber, check out Saber Trio. You guys will not be disappointed. Trust me on this. I don't think I've ever heard one bad review from Saber Trio. Let that spell things out for you, okay? They are top of the line S tier. God tier, whatever you want to call it. They're worth it. But that's enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good evening.